Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can autofill contract or other document based on the data stored in SharePoint list and send it for electronic signatures with DocuSign and no code required. Uh, so in this, uh, in this example, I'm going to be using my SharePoint online site here. I'm going to click on purchasing and expenses and I'm going to show you the list that I'm going to be using. It's fairly simple list, very basic uh, for the demo purposes. So here's my vendors list. It's got the title and vendor email. That's what I'm going to be using for my example. I also sign up for a trial of DocuSign. So when you sign up for a trial of DocuSign you, and then register, you are taken to this page. Uh, what I'm going to do in this page is actually click templates. And what I'm going to do is upload my existing Word document template that I have for my contract. So I'm going to click create a template and give it a name called contract and I'm gonna add a file that's it the file is gonna be my contract template and there's two fields that I want to be automatically pulled from my list into this contract and these fields are my manager my purchasing manager I'm gonna leave uh, the other fields blank and I'm gonna add another recipient called vendor Okay, so these are the two roles that I'm going to be playing. Uh, and of course, you could send them, you know, you can manage the sequence, who's going to have to sign first, etc, etc. In my case, uh, I'm going to send them parallel for parallel signatures, both to manager and vendor. Okay, so I'm done with this step, I'm going to click next. And now uh, DocuSign loaded my contract, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, where the signatures are. And what I want to do is uh, grab a signature for, mem for my manager first. So I'm going to grab this signature and put it here. And I'm going to also do the same thing with my vendor. I'm going to grab a signature for a vendor. And of course, I want to grab a title of the person. Um, so I'm going to put one for the uh, vendor and perhaps uh, you know name as well here and I'm gonna do the same thing for my manager I'm gonna grab a name and of course you can grab as many fields as you'd like um, and if you have them available in your SharePoint you can use them here um, so that's what I'm gonna be using for my example I'm gonna click save and close so here's what's happened next DocuSign created the template now it's available so what I'm gonna do next is fire up flow and create a brand new flow. I'm going to pick a template from here, pick a connector from here, pick SharePoint. I'm going to select an action for when an item is created and that's the item in my vendors list and from the list of available options I'm just going to say enter a custom, custom value and I'm going to copy and paste the URL for my purchasing and expenses site and the list is vendors okay next I'm gonna add a DocuSign action I'm gonna search for DocuSign and I'm gonna pick send envelope using template that's the action that I'm gonna be using and of course because I signed up for a trial account uh, my um, subscription is already added here the, the action recognizes that I have an account now also because I created that template it recognizes that I have a contract template so you can manage several templates uh, or as many templates as you like to DocuSign and the last one is document status I'm gonna or envelope status I'm gonna pick a send flow automatically picks up all of the available fields that I've dropped onto my document DocuSign template so my manager name vendor name email all of these are recognized if I'm gonna create another party or additional keywords onto my template they will be they will be automatically proposed here so for my manager name I'm gonna autofill the person's name who created this list item so I'm gonna say created by display name for the email I'm gonna say created by email vendor name I'm gonna use a document or list item title and for vendor email I'm gonna use a vendor email all right as simple as that so I'm gonna say create a flow and click done 
So let's test it out. I'm going to switch back to my SharePoint list and create a new vendor and just save this list item. So what's happening now is uh, Flow will automatically fire, will automatically monitor the event from this SharePoint list and create an action for me. As you can see, there's a notification that already created that was created. DocuSign automatically picked up that there is a new item created and automatically sent me an email. And back in Outlook, as you can see, I've received a link to my document and I can review the document. And I'm logged in as just so you know, I'm logged in as a vendor right now. I'll agree to the terms of electronic signature and click continue. I can scroll right down to my signature line. So I'm going to go ahead and sign it here. Sure, I'm going to adopt the default signature. I'm going to sign this as a director and click finish. And that's it. So let's go ahead and check out what's happened in our flow. You'll see that the run has succeeded. So that means that my document has been sent for signatures. You can see that happened. And of course, DocuSign takes care of emailing all of the participants of this workflow with the PDF final version of the document. Now, one of the things that you can do, which we're not going to cover in this video, perhaps in the next video, if there is interest, is that you can actually monitor from DocuSign the documents has, that have been finalized and signed and automatically attached a signed PDF into this list item that we've that we started from. So there is a very easy extension to this flow. Again, there's no code required where you can actually attach a signed document right to this list item. So you have all of your contracts all in one place. So if there is an interest in how to do that, be sure to let me know, comment and like on the video, and I'll be sure to post the second part to this video. Thanks for watching.